Folks, welcome back to Dirty Dinner Diaries. This is the Dirty Oven Pizza Edition. Oh, ah. Folks, don't forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, get notified every time we do a new video. So, usually, I'm all like, let's get a smoker on, let's get the fancy pizza oven on, let's do all of that stuff. Now, I understand that not everybody has that available. So today, we are going to be doing a dirty dinner diary pizza in our new swanky kitchen using a normal conventional electric oven. Let's go. To make the pizza dough, that's where we need to start with, pizza dough. First thing we're gonna need is some plain flour, some salt, some extra virgin oil, some yeast, fast action if possible, and also some water that's tepid, room temperature, we'll boil it, let's do it. While the kettle's boiling, we're gonna add 500 grams of strong plain flour and 15 grams of fine salt in a bowl. So to the salt and the flour, we are going to add one of these fast action yeast packets. If you're using live yeast, mix it with some water first, but this can just go straight in to the mixture, we mix it all up, and then the water comes after. In here we have extra strong flour, some salt, some quick action yeast, and now we're gonna add in two glugs, or two tablespoons, of some lovely extra virgin olive oil. So the kettle's just about boiled. We need 300 milliliters of tepid water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 250 milliliters of normal cold water out of the tap and then I'm just gonna dash in 50 mil straight from the kettle of boiling hot water and that should be fine. Now it is time to add our tepid water. I'm just gonna add this slowly, mixing it all in. And what we're after here is just a nice doughy mixture that we can then roll into a ball and start to knead. If at any point you think this is either too, uh, too loose, like too wet, you can add a bit more flour. If you think it's too dry, you can add a bit more water. Now I think this is slightly too dry, it's a bit crumbly there. Um, so I'm just gonna add a touch more water and then we'll roll it out onto the surface and get kneaded. <laughs> That's had about 10 minutes of kneading. Now what we're gonna do is pop it into a clean bowl. We're gonna lightly flour that, we're gonna cover it in cling film and leave it in a warm place for about an hour or until it's doubled in size. For our next trick, we need to look at the tomato sauce base. So here we've got one onion, four beef tomatoes or 750 grams, extra virgin olive oil, we've got a clove of garlic, we've got some chili flakes, we've got some oregano, oregano if you're in the States. Did I mention the table salt? Am I done? Beautiful. So let's make the sauce. First things first, we need to heat up a big glug, generous glug, of olive oil in a pan. While that's going on, we can chop the onion finely and then the clove of garlic as well. That could be smashed up. We're gonna sweat those off with the chili and oregano. Let's go.
Those have been sweating now for about 10 minutes. Let's have a quick look into there. They look beautiful. Lovely, translucent. So now we add chopped tomatoes, the oregano. If you've got fresh oregano, which I don't, then put that in at the very end. We've got some stuff out of a little jar, some dried stuff. So we pop that in now just so it uh, goes all nice and doesn't get all bitty, if you know what I mean. And I forgot to mention, we're gonna add in another big juicy glug of this beautiful extra virgin olive oil. Just while we are there. Very generous indeed. Give those 15 minutes on a medium heat, away we go. been bubbling away quite happily now for about 15 minutes. All that's left to do is we're going to add three cans of chopped tomatoes. Going to give it a good stir. And then we're going to let that simmer now for about an hour with the lid on. We're going to come back, we're going to check it. It's going to be good. So whilst we're waiting for our sauce to condense and get all lovely and yummy, and whilst we're waiting for the dough to proof and double in size, let's quickly talk about pizzas in a normal oven. Now obviously a wood-fired pizza oven like the one we've got here is fantastic, but I appreciate nobody's got one. So what we're gonna do is we bought this pizza stone. Now you can get these from anywhere online. Um, and we're just gonna put this in the oven and then the pizza goes directly on top of the pizza stone, which makes the bottom nice and crispy. Now the idea is that we're gonna cook these as fast as we can. So we're gonna ramp our oven to as high as it will go, and I reckon we'll, we'll be cooking these in about three to four minutes. Usually, in a pizza oven, because of the heat, you can achieve, you're looking to go one to two minutes, but again, not everybody's got a pizza oven. So let's try and do it in a conventional oven, and I'm sure we'll make it tasty. Yes, 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 let's talk toppings. So, we've got these lovely, lovely, lovely wild mushrooms. We've got some Parmesan, we've got some pulled apart mozzarella. We've got some capers, some anchovies, some lovely, lovely salami, nice and thin. Mm. You can put what you like on though, it's entirely up to you. Slam what you want on. Obviously we need a tomato sauce base, we need a bit of cheese. Just go plain if you want, a lovely bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. Amazing. Right, let's check the dough, let's check the sauce, let's get cracking. Okay, so this has been rising in here now with some cling film on. Oh, it smells lovely. For about an hour. Should have about doubled in size. Now what we're gonna do, on a lightly floured surface again, we're just gonna separate this up. I say lightly, that was way too much flour. We're gonna separate this up into about 10 pieces. Um, so, in that. So lightly floured surface. This should be, yeah, this should make about 10 small pizzas. If we can ever get it out of here. Let's have a look. Lovely. So yeah, separate it into 10 pieces. We're gonna quickly get a tray. Just lightly flour the surface of the tray as well. And then we're going to section this up. So what we're looking for is about 10 balls. Like so. We're just going to roll these back up into balls, stick them on a baking tray, and then we're going to let those rest for just about 15 minutes and then we can start to build them. I promise. We're not far off now. Mm. 
Whilst we're giving those another 15 minutes just to settle into the fact they've just been torn apart into 10 different pieces, we're going to sort out this sauce. So, this is what we've got. It's been reducing down for about an hour now. We're going to take it off the heat and we're going to taste it and then we're going to add a bit of sugar if we think it needs it. Might not, if the tomatoes are sweet anyway, they won't need it. If they're, if they're not as ripe as they maybe could be, we might have to add some sugar, but we'll do it to taste. So we'll take it off now, add some sugar, give it a trial. Try it first, should I say, then add some sugar, and then we'll go from there. Well, that is nice. Well, that is very nice. Um, I think we are going to add a tiny pinch of sugar, stir it in, try again. Perfect, absolutely perfect. Next step, now that we've got this to taste, and it does taste incredible, we need to blitz it up. So we've just got a little processor here. Um, so we are going to spoon this in. I don't think we're going to do this all in one batch, but we can uh, batch it all up. I could have done with a bigger spoon. And we're going to zoom this up until it's nice and rich. All the lumps have gone. Done. Before we start building the pizzas, we need to set the oven up. Basically, I mean, this one's a bit fancy. You could say I'm cooking pizza, it does it all for you. But we need to ramp it up to as high as it will go. Make sure you've got your pizza stone in there. Away we go. We'll leave it and we'll start building. Here we go. Right. Start by picking a piece of dough. And what we need to do is we're going to roll it out to the size that we need. Now, obviously, we've got this, uh, we've got this pizza stone. It comes with these little patterns as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to the right size. It doesn't matter if you just pull it apart. You're meant to kind of roll it. Um, but let's just pull it apart. These are like mini pizzas, so we're not, we're not after some whopping great big thing. We're just going to pull it apart. Put a bit of flour on this puzzle as well. And then to make things easy for us, we're going to build the pizza on the paddle, and then we should just be able to slide it straight to the oven. Okay, so dough stretched out for our kind of mini pizza. First thing to do is a bit of the tomato sauce. Nice spread of that. Okay. And for this first one, we're going to do a couple of bits of salami. Get some capers. that, a few chilli flakes, which are over here, and then also some parmesan cheese. That looks fantastic. Nice and crispy on the bottom. It looks great. So, gonna finish it off with a bit of uh, olive oil. <laughs> Time to chat down, dead simple. We have, oh, there we go, can you see that? An oven pizza, yes, cooked in the oven. But look at it, it looks incredible. We've got pepperoni, we've got some capers. Finish with olive oil, oh, sure. 
hot, it's so hot. Oh. Yeah, that tastes like a proper pizza. Um, the dough is lovely. I mean, it's all good. I don't know what to tell you. Nice and sweet, it's tomatoes, lovely and sweet. There's a slight hint of heat coming through there as well from the chilies. It looks absolutely fantastic and it tastes even better. So there we go. You don't need a fancy pants pizza oven, although they are incredible. But that took about four minutes to do. Put your on some. Put what you want, Tom. Mm. I'm going to make some more. I'm going to make loads more of these. I'm going to keep eating them. And that's what I'm going to do. Thanks for your support, guys. This has been another Dirty Dinner Diaries. We'll see you soon. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Hit the bell so you get notified when we do a video. Let's all eat pizza. Bye.